Hello, everyone. Welcome once again to Feel of Notes for another edition of our daily whiteboard. In today's edition, I will discuss the proper way of punctuating propositions in symbolic logic. This will just be a very brief discussion, but please note that this topic is very important in symbolic logic. Why do we need to punctuate propositions in symbolic logic in the first place? Well, this is because, in many instances, propositions in symbolic logic contain more than one connective. And in symbolic logic, all propositions should only have one major connective. Thus, if there are two or more connectives, then we have to punctuate the proposition accordingly so that the major connective will become clear. So, basically, symbolic logic uses parentheses, brackets, and braces as punctuation symbols. And so, the rule of thumb in logic is to use parentheses first, and then brackets, and braces. Let's consider this example. If the road is wet, then either it rains today, or the fire truck spills water on the road. P. Q. R. As we can see, this example contains three propositions, namely, the road is wet, it rains today, and the fire truck spills water on the road. And as I already discussed in the previous editions, we learned that the variables provided after the proposition represent the propositions in the entire proposition, respectively. Thus, in this example, P stands for the road is wet, Q for it rains today, and R for the fire truck spills water on the road. Hence, initially, the proposition is symbolized as follows. P, then Q, or R. But before I continue, I would just like to mention that if you missed our previous edition titled Propositions and Symbols Used in Symbolic Logic, I suggest that you also check it out as it is one of the fundamental topics in symbolic logic. Alright, let's go back to our example. So, this symbol that we have here is not yet complete. Because at this point, it is not yet clear what type of proposition it is. And this is exactly the reason why we would need to punctuate the proposition. And so, if we analyze the proposition, it would become clear that it is a conditional proposition whose consequent is an inclusive disjunction. Now, for this reason, we need to punctuate the consequent. Thus, the proposition, if the road is wet, then either it rains today or the fire truck spills water on the road, is symbolized as follows. I will discuss more about this when I go to the discussion on symbolizing propositions in symbolic logic. Meantime, let me give you examples of punctuated propositions, just to show that propositions in symbolic logic that contain two or more connectives have to be punctuated accordingly. Please see these examples. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me today in this edition of our daily whiteboard here at Philo Notes as we try to make the understanding of philosophy incredibly easy. Keep looking forward to our series of editions on the topic symbolic logic. And I hope you find this material helpful. And if you do, feel free to subscribe. Thanks. Take care.